Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. So today we'll be talking about stress in fish. Now the stress response that goes through a fish is going to be the exact same process that you yourself go through, your other pets go through, and essentially what it is is that fight or flight reflex. Now when you are in a situation that is stressing you out, um, essentially you're going to have a release of ketocholamines, specifically epinephrine and norepinephrine. And these again kick off that almost instantaneously fight or flight. So are you going to fight back or are you going to run for it? Now fish, again, it's going to be the exact same thing. And in an acute situation, it's going to, you know, save their lives. Should we swim away from the fish with the giant teeth? Or perhaps we should swim away from this net that's trying to capture us and put us on the back. Now, stress only becomes a problem when it's chronic. So if your stressor is, say, not going away, you have a big test coming up and you're just cramming, 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 can't think about anything else for weeks, unfortunately, just that continuous pumping of those ketocholamines start to have negative impacts on your body. And this includes lack of growth, lack of reproduction, and lack of immune response, which is why this is so critical in fish and a lot of other species. So common stressors for fish, the big one, if you can guess, is water chemistry. So a fish that is in a poor uh, maintained tank or pond with terrible water chemistry, obviously they can't get away. They can't jump out of that tank to a new clean environment. They might try, but Trying to compensate with all these terrible water quality parameters just makes them sick and vulnerable and it allows a lot of those bacteria and parasites that are kind of lingering in their tank already because a fish, you can't sterilize it. It's always going to have bacteria and parasites on it, but their immune system is able to keep those levels stable. But if they're stressed out and you're kind of taking that away from them with their good immune function, Unfortunately, it means that they're gonna get sick from something else. So that is why water chemistry is really so important for all of your fish's health and well-being. Other stressors include not gaining the right nutrients, not having enough vitamins, being in a tank that is too small or being very overcrowded. Um, you can have fish that are being picked on by more aggressive species or just other individuals. But really, again, acute stress is okay. You get in, fix the situation, you run away, or you fight back, and then that's it. That should hopefully resolve. But again, those chronic stress situations of poor water chemistry, not getting enough of the right diet, can really push your fish into a situation where they're gonna get sick from secondary bacteria and parasites, which is why it's so important that you maintain your fish's water chemistry and feed them a good diet. So hopefully that kind of explains that link, that mysterious link between good water chemistry and good fish health. We've hoped you learned something and enjoy a lot of the other videos that we've put together. If you have any other questions or are looking for more information on fish health, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.